what's up uh this episode's audio i don't know why but for some reason my mic is absolutely fine i think it's my recording software but the audio isn't useful at this part i'm using the same mic for when i'm doing the voice over here and when i'm recording with uh my uh recorder so i think i'll mess around with the settings of my recording system uh, but pretty much any voice that you hear in this episode is gonna be me from the future! So, uh, yeah. So that's why my movements in-game probably won't line up with what I'm saying here. But pretty much I'm going to explain what we're gonna be doing this episode in the future. So here we already have a Therizino that's level 145, uh, stuck in a pit. And, uh, here shortly I'm gonna start worrying about if it can get out because I've personally never trapped a therizina before. I taped one once but was sort of stuck in some trees and it couldn't get out. But I've never actually made a trap. I bet you it probably couldn't get out from where it is and while I'm looking at this in the future I can see that probably would have gone out. But I'm gonna go off and make some more uh, door frames just to make sure it doesn't because lord knows I would die in three hits if that thing got out. Uh, so that's that's what we're doing here. It's a level 145 Thursday though, and it's it's super good. Uh, it took like an hour, like about an hour for me to tape it. Like this recording was an hour twenty minutes long. It took me an hour of that to freaking tame it. It took forever. Even though it only took 40 metro berries, it was like, oh my gosh, what is it gonna be over? So like 20 minutes and I realized that this is not gonna take 20 minutes like I first assumed it would. It was gonna take like three times that so I just went off and watched some YouTube videos, came back, forced spent it Naruko berries until it got tamed. So uh, most of this video I'm just gonna be speeding it up to prove that I did tame it legit. Uh Cause you know, salty people out there accusing big YouTubers of force taming everything. So uh, most of this video is just gonna be sped up showing that I got legit. Uh, eventually what I do tame it is 97% tame effectiveness, so uh, it comes out level like 215, not too bad if I say so myself. Uh, it took up like all of my freaking trike darts, so off camera I'm gonna go ahead and make a lot more of those. Uh, but here we're just gathering up a couple of berries, uh, just our eco berries to keep it asleep because their torpidity goes down like it's nothing, like, I never thought torpidity could go down that fast, it's just like, oh, stop it! Like, every five minutes I had to check back and feed it, like, 500 Nariko berries just so I make sure it wouldn't wake up and then the whole, whole thing would be ruined. So like, you're gonna see me going back and forth gathering more berries. I had enough major berries in one sweet but uh, got enough Naruko berries. It took me about 500 Naruko berries. I don't use narcotics just because I have a stego on me at all times. And in my opinion, it's easier just to use Naruko berries instead of Narutek because I use uh, Narutex for the trank darts. So it's like, ah. Uh, might as well just save it for the trank dorks, plus it would be another thing to lug around constantly. Uh, here, I'm pretty sure I uh, figured out that my log deck rifle probably would have enough juice in it to knock it out. It did, but uh, you know, I always like being over prepared and that's why I build up the walls and everything. But uh, we're going back to base for a second just to grab another long neck rifle. Uh, which wasn't that bad to do. I mean, it's a log deck rifle. Uh, I'm working on making a refining forage, and then I'm gonna work on a industrial uh, refining forage, an industrial forage. Now I'm gonna be working on the industrial grinder, even though I can't grind that much stuff on this map. I'm planning on like making this sort of a solo player cluster series. Because I finally figured out how to put items in the little obelisk stakes or on this map, the little mission holders. I'm such an idiot. It's literally right next to the upload survival section and right under the uh, upload creature section. I was so stupid 
to not know about that before. I am an idiot sometimes. Uh, we had to tape up a new Bloodstalker off camera because literally five seconds I stopped recording, it died. So I wanted to tape up a level 135 and that's the Bloodstalker we're going to be using throughout the rest of the episode. I still have a couple leftover blood packs. Uh, and I started making some of these shocking tranquilizer doors and I did not realize that uh, they have a timer on them so I just shoved them in the fridge right after that. I'm gonna save those for like Rexes or Spinos. Their Zenos aren't that bad to trap so I'm not gonna use the, the one that I trapped. But I have never... I have no idea how to trap a Rex or a Spino, so I'm gonna need all the power punches that I can get there. I know I'm gonna need them eventually. Uh, I'm thinking about getting Megrosaur sometime. Now that we have the Bloodstalker, I literally could just swoop in uh, to the volcano, grab a Megrosaur egg, chuck the Bloodstalker into a Soul Ball and die after I have the Megrosaur egg. I know it's a bit cheaty, but like, I'm a bad arc player and I'm going to take advantage of the bots I have installed. So like, if you don't like that, sucks to suck because I'm totally going to do that in the next few episodes. Just, I want to get Megasaurus bleeding sometime because they're going to be a good like tanky thing and just because they can like smell iron and stuff, I think that's cool. I don't know why, I just never <coughs> played with a Megasaurus before. The dogs are barking, that is it. There's nothing there! That's annoying. So, uh, I'm done with this voiceover. And... Mm, no, I'm not. Oh, there's... Okay, done voice. So it's Icy from the future back again. Uh, the dogs were barking because there was a fox in the front yard. It was so cute. It was one of those red foxes, but still a bit braver on its body. Uh, we've seen it a lot the past few days. We sort of live in the middle of nowhere, so we see a lot of wildlife during the spring and summer time. Uh, we see deer a lot. A couple years ago, we had a mother deer. And her pair of twins following her around all summer. It was adorable to watch. We also have a hawk's nest up uh, in the front yard, and that's pretty cool to watch too. We have just a lot of wildlife around it. It's very fun. And uh, at this moment, in game, Icy knew that she, she was dead. Like, come on, I spotted it right next to three Theros. How does the game expect me? Like, look. Okay, so you see two Theros facing me right there. I'm gonna turn around and see that there's a third one. Wait, wait, wait. I swear on my life. There's See the third one walking right there? That guy's probably... I'm pretty sure he came to chase me. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. I'm also gonna stop to look at a couple of RGs along the way. I've always liked messing around with RGs just for like carrying metal and stuff. I know they're not that useful on this map. Uh, but I would still like to get one because they have their new X form. And uh, I know the forms just don't add anything besides making them harder to tame for no reason because they get the resistance taken off them once they're tamed. But they look cool, so I'd like to take a look at those eventually. Uh, so I'm just swinging around desperately trying to figure out where I left the theories, you know. Uh, that's the second uh, 145 theories, you know. Uh, this one is way worse than the one that we're about to tame. Every stat is lower than the one we're about to tame. The one that we're about to tame has like 990 stamina, 532 weight, 200 melee, and about 6.3 health. Uh, just as the wild stats, that one literally had lower stats than everything. So there was no point even trying to tame that. So I'm not going to tame that off camera, it's just useless. The only two stats that were better than the one we're going to tame is the food and the oxygen. And to be honest, who cares about those right there, you know? Honestly, nobody cares about food on any creature except maybe Daydons. So, pretty useless there and nobody thinks the oxygen stat sure exists. Like, 
Or at least dope I acknowledge it and breathe it from what I've seen, I mean. Who's gonna use the land creature for underwater caves anyway, so... I mean, if you're gonna do an underwater cave, probably the best thing to do would be... Probably Bastlodon, they're pretty small and mobile for underwater creatures, but... It, in general, who would bring a Theria to underwater? Like, come on, are you stupid if you do that? Because it's just gonna die down there if you get stuck in a cave and you don't know your way around. So, I'm just not gonna tame that theory, even though I think the colors on it were way better, just because of the blue. I like the blue a lot, and I'm very sad that it doesn't have any better stats. It's just a shame, but eventually, yeah, what can you do? Uh, the theory that we are gonna tame though, is really, is gonna turn out to be a whopping wet tamed. This is outrageous. So, the, the high stat that you want to go for for melee when it's tamed is at least 400. It's going to turn out to be like a 423% or something. And that's insane. So here, uh, the loading glitch happened. Sometimes the creatures load in before the structures do. So it was able to move out the structure uh, before it loaded in. But we easily got back and I mean, that trap is pretty easy to get there. He said... They have little bird braids, even though they're pretty big and fierce, they can literally kill anything. It's extremely really annoying to know how stupid a creature could be in this world, but can still absolutely murder you. So, uh, right here I'm just making sure my Bloodstalker is satisfied. One time I got a Bloodstalker of very low health, and uh, let's just say that they turned out so well for me. It started sucking my blood, and I was like, oh my gosh, what damages he? Jam damage me? Yeah, I was in the swap, so I was like, huh, oh, it's probably insects where I can't see, but nope, it was my little bloodstalker. And when I finally realized that, I just chucked it above the soul balls. And then waited until I kept uh, getting closer to something that I could kill. Quickly threw it out, got on it, started taking damage again, and then massacred whatever I saw. And sight just so it would stop killing me. It worked. It was a very sloppy save, though. Uh, so around here we're just uh, gathering some more trees because I think that the theory is going to get out even though it's not going to get out. I'm honestly an idiot thinking, oh my god, sorry guys, this this is like, uh, it's like almost 5 o'clock where I am right now doing this voiceover. It's like, it feels like 12 o'clock midnight and I'm like, uh, why am I doing a voiceover? Why can't my recording just work? Like, the mic is working just fine for this, but I went back and listened to the voiceover I just did. It was beautiful. I just got this new bike cover up for my birthday. So hopefully it will, like, block out my PC right in the background and fan in the background. And I listened to what I was doing, like, for recording right now. I realized... Good lord, this mic thing works wonders. I haven't tested it on the keyboard yet because obviously I'm not clicking keys on my keyboard when I'm doing this or anything. But like, lord, I couldn't hear the PC or the fan. And you know that I'd always see buzzing in the background of each video. So that's my PC because my back's like right above it. I should really get a better setup here. But I don't want to get one of those giant fancy bikes that some YouTubers have just because it would be in the way way too much. Like, I want to have something to have rid of my face constantly, because I want to move my face around. Normally, I snack sometimes, like, stuff like that. So, I'm going to have to mess around with the recording software, see what's constantly going wrong there, because my mic sounds beautiful, like, when I'm doing these voiceover. I don't know why it sounds so weird when I'm using the recording software. It's the same mic, I hope I don't get it, but, you know, what you do. Oh, we're gonna spend a couple minutes here soon. You know, seeing myself play the game, uh, it's- I've realized how slow I am. Like, I'm super slow. I have to stop to think about, like, everything I do. And it's like, hurry up, past I see. It's like, oh my gosh, stop taking forever. And, uh, I think right here I'm complaining about how I'm freezing to death, even though I'm in the middle of an arctic tundra at night time. Uh, I really should have probably built a campfire, but I never died, so like, eh, who cares? <gasps> I'm really okay. Oh my gosh. 
I had a good night's sleep too. I had like 10 hours of sleep. It's like, why am I so tired? <sighs> uh, but we finally start shooting the theory. And uh, I'm trying to get headshots here. I know I accidentally get a couple of body shots in. Are they as effective as headshots? Uh, but I know the stick's not gonna die whenever I do, so I just keep shooting it. I try to go to head whenever I can, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. I don't have any veggies on me. I started a farm uh, on uh, our ocean island. Uh, but the piping system was, oh my gosh, it took me so long. Especially since the island was so high up and they can't have normal islands in Genesis. It was a pain in the butt. I was swinging around on my Bloodstalker for like 10 minutes each time I tried placing a new pipe. It was just like, why, Ark? Why can't you just like do normal islands, like little small islands that are like almost at ocean level or sea level? But no, you just gotta make these high towering cliffs. That makes piping the pain to do. But uh, we're growing long grass there and uh, the carrot things, Rackroar or whatever they call it, it's a weird name. Uh, so those will be used for like the best tier kibble, I'm pretty sure. You have to have it for some sort of stew that goes to the kibble and then you have to have the carrot and the long grass anyway. So like, I might as well just start a farm buddy right now. Uh, I want to get the tech generator just so I can have a farmer and a gardener just to make my life easier. And I'm working on building a greenhouse uh, after I build the refining forge. Uh, I have all the crystal and uh, whatever else I need. I just need the iron to cook faster. Like, cooking iron takes so long. It's like, why? Why, 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 why? I have like 500 iron off of the refining forge, I'm pretty sure. It's annoying, but like, eh, what can you do? Uh, I'm about to knock out the stereo, and right when I knock it out, you guys will uh, see the speed up happening. The speed up is just there because some people are jerks on the internet. I don't have a very small YouTube channel, but like, I want to try avoid jerks uh, right now, so. I speed you up to show that I did it. I'm gonna take more uh, high level theories off camera, but uh, I just wanted to show that I did one and I could easily do five more even though I'm gonna be wasting like five hours of my life on it. Uh, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I wanna make a theory army to defeat some of the missions and you know, if I'm gonna start hopping around on different uh, different arcs here because I need to head over to score Sturf to get some propellant for uh, the item picker upper. Ah, which you can only craft in our Scorch because cactus sap, blah blah blah. Like honestly, why can't they put cactus sap uh, on any other map? I'm so angry that they did that you can only learn this upgrade up here thing even though you have all the DCs like bought. It's just annoying because I feel bad for anybody who like does the bide right but goes back and does crafty skill stuff but still has to go to like each and every uh, place to relearn whatever they didn't learn before or after they do the bide right. It's just annoying. It truly is. I accidentally mind wiped once and it took me like 20 minutes to go back and learn everything that I had uh, learned. But that, that was extremely annoying. Uh, so, uh, it's good to trade out being a level 215. Amazing stats health-wise, I checked the Dodo dex thing. Its HP is high, and surprisingly, its melee is only average. I don't think it's average melee, I think it's high melee. Uh, but what does the wiki know? So I'm sort of ignoring that, just going by my own standards. It has amazing health, it has amazing melee, okay? I'm just gonna speed the rest of this up because it's literally just me sucking blood out of some stuff with the blood stock and make sure it doesn't want to kill me and uh, keeping this thing uh, down with dark go berry. So uh, enjoy the speed up!
got the fake tape after like literally an hour. Uh, this video, I, I docked it down around 20 and it finally got taped around the 10 ish so I guess it only took like 50 minutes. But that is still a long time, and I pity anybody on official taming something like that with their ridiculously, stupidly slow rates. Uh, so we taped it, we just went ahead and chucked it to a soul ball. Uh, and I have no idea what I'm doing here. I think I'm looking at the stats. Okay, I'm comparing the stats. The, so the original stats on our Therese, though, uh, when it was filed, was 990 stamina, 532 weight, 200 melee, and uh, 6.1 health. And you could go ahead and look at the stats on screen for the other one at the exact same level. And they are way worse. Like, they're not that worse, but like, they're still worse. And the only things higher are like the food and the oxygen. Nobody cares about that. I hold the a whole like five minute speech earlier on how nobody cares about those two stats for Therizinos or pretty much anything else except for Daedalus. So I feel like I'm repeating myself. So we move on. I'm just picking up everything because this is a really useful trap uh, if you can pick everything up in S+. So I'm just picking everything up because in my opinion, there's no point in wasting the materials by just leaving them here. So I'm just picking everything up. Uh, and then we're going to go back to base here soon. And I'm going to figure out the wonders of theories. I've owned one theory in my arc lifetime. And that was on the right the rock. Uh, I don't remember what level it was, but it got stuck in the trees. I had no trap to deal with it. And I just shot it with like a crap ton of trank arrows. Like, 89 trank arrows is what it would have taken if it was a level 145. Because each trank arrow does about 100 torpor if you let it wait. Uh, but it took a forever to tame there. Uh, but here, we're just going back to base to mess around with it for a little bit. I don't end up killing anything with it. I'm gonna have to go off camera and check out the damage that does. I took a screenshot of its stats when tape. Just so uh, when we start breeding them, we know which stats to look for. Because I do want to get a theory army. I just need a couple more theories. Uh, and I'm pretty sure the one that we have right here is pretty good. Uh, its health is high. And uh, it's really is it high, but like who trusts the wiki on any situation? So I'm saying it was high. I don't care what you guys think. The really, if it turns out being over 400 when tamed, it's high. So we're hopping back in here. Uh, I'm gonna need to make more trick darts because it drained me of like all of my trick darts except for 19 of them. Make you a theory saddle, and then we're gonna go mess around outside, see how much fiber and wood we can get out of this thing. So we're just depositing some stuff in the refrigerators. My bomb refrigerators is for like regular meat and berries and stuff. The middle one is for like more like good food, like my food, like the soups and uh, health drinks or whatever you call a bit arc. I really want to say health potions, but that would be too Minecrafty. I have no idea. Medical brews, I think they're called medical brews. Uh, that's where I keep like the medical brews and stuff like that, like the soup stuff. I keep raw button in there just because it's raw button, and I also keep the raw prime in there. Uh, the, the top one is gonna be for eggs. So far I only have a couple of dodo eggs in there, but uh, when we start breeding, we're gonna have plenty of therizino eggs. We're also gonna need to make the hatchery, if that's the main reason why we start breeding dodos, besides for the fact that I can use them for like the basic kibble. Uh, I know I'm gonna probably have to get a couple of Uteranuses to make the better kibble. Uh, I'm thinking about just uh, getting high level Uteranuses because I'm gonna need them for breeding anyway, so why not just use the trash ones for kibble? I'm taking a screenshot here just so I know the stats that it had uh, when we first got it. But seriously, look at that melee! How can you say that that's low? Like most creatures? If it's over 400 when you tame it, I personally think that's pretty good. So, uh, in my opinion, it has good melee. I, I'm not a professional at Therizinos, of course, but uh, from my experience with fire creatures, if it has over 400 melee when tamed, that's pretty high. 
so I've just tried to figure out why I want to pump. I'm going to level it up off camera more. I want to have at least 20k health. Uh, because if this thing is going to be going in caves on iron maps and uh, doing missions to try to kill brutes with us on this map, I want to make sure that won't die. Because if it dies, obviously we can't use it. And there's no point at having a Therizina with high melee if it's going to die in the first couple of hits. So uh, it gets a lot of health out of it. It does this little twinkly, uh, twinkly dance. Well, magic fingers, that's what I always called them. I think it's hilarious the little, how delicate it does when it collects the fiber. It's just hilarious to see such a big beast just give you little massages to plants. Uh, so we got like over 10,000 freaking fiber out of that one. Uh, I'm just checking to make sure that we have plenty of berries in here because I'm probably going to be having this guy out. Or should I keep it with the... I don't know, because keeping it with the soul ball gives him levels too. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out off camera. Uh, but pretty much this is the end of the episode, and I'm just going to explain what I'm going to be trying to do in between episodes. In between episodes, I'm going to be uh, probably trying to tame one more bloodstalker so we can start the breeding process with them. Take me a couple more theories because if I'm gonna have a theory army, I want to make sure that I have the best stats, and hopefully I do the breeding properly this time. Uh, so we're gonna get a couple more theories. We're gonna see if we could get our blood stalker, and uh, I'm gonna work on the uh, industrial forge. Hopefully I get that, and then besides that, I'm gonna make sure I stock up on shrink darts. I buy. Uh, off camera, I probably get do a couple more missions, see if I could get any better armor out of it. So far, I'm still too scared to like, go into any of the like kill stuff missions. So I'm just gonna be hanging out with the more passive missions, like the races. It's for me right now. It's impossible to do any of the alpha ones. I'm very close to getting the alpha stingray one. I finished the course. I go through the last two, but it still takes like three or four seconds for it to finally seek into the game that I won. So that's a problem. But anyways guys, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe. It took me a long time to tape this theory. I appreciate any support I've gained on this series. Dragons will be coming out soon, I promise. I'm just working on some stuff in Minecraft. Uh, but anyways, I'll see you all next time.